Hey everyone, it's Keisha with Car Seat Blog. Today we have the Graco Forever Extend to Fit model, and we're going to be showing you how to move the latch strap from the rear facing belt path to the forward facing belt path. As I've already mentioned, this is the Forever Extend to Fit model, which is sort of like a hybrid between the Forever and the Extend to Fit. However, if you just have a Graco Extend to Fit or an Extend to Fit 3 in 1, or if you only have a Graco Forever model, Forever DLX, just know that the process for moving the latch strap is exactly the same. So, first thing you're going to do is move your headrest all the way up. Next thing you're going to do, this particular one has snaps. We've unsnapped. You're going to expose the belt path so that you can see what you're doing. The setup for all of these um, Graco convertibles is pretty much the same. The concept is that you have a metal bar that runs just along one side of the shell of the car seat and your latch strap is going to be tracked under that metal bar. So um, the seat always comes out of the box mm -hmm. with the latch strap in the rear facing position because they figure that's how you're going to use the seat first. But when you are done with rear facing, and you're going to intend to move to forward facing orientation and you want to continue to use the latch strap, bring your latch connectors into the belt path like this. You have them so that they're trapped under the bar. And then you're basically just going to slide and shimmy, slide and shimmy the webbing all the way up to the forward facing belt path. And then you'll take your connectors and you'll put them through the openings for forward facing, making sure that your latch strap is not twisted and taking care to make sure that you don't get caught up in the five point harness. All right, and the end result will look like this. This particular model has a forward facing lock off you do not use it if you're using latch. Your latch strap will just go over it and then you'll connect your latch anchors and you will tighten the latch strap and you will attach your tether anchor at the top and you'll be done. However, if you are installing with seatbelt, you will go ahead and utilize this lock off, which basically both your lap and shoulder belt go through here. You buckle, you pull it tight and you clamp them underneath that lock off. The last thing I'm going to point out, just because it's red and it's really obvious, a lot of people mistakenly think that these little red flags, for lack of a better word, are lock-offs for the rear-facing belt path. They are not. These are the mechanism for detaching the whole back of the shell from the base, because this is a four-in-one seat, which means you can remove the whole back and just use the base part as a backless booster. So literally this is not a lock off. What this is, there's a pin or a rod in there. You move them forward and you are able, I'm not gonna take the whole thing off, but you'll see it. You are able to disengage the whole back of the seat from the bottom of the seat. So again, it's not a lock off, but a lot of people mistakenly think it is. And that is how you move the latch strap on the Graco Forever Extend to Fit. Check out our full review for more details. Thanks for watching.